can't see it from this tonight. So, again, we're going to go over a couple slides that, again, we got this information straight from Pleasant Hill 3's website, videos, emails, flyers that you might have been in touch with. So that's where we're getting our information from. And where we're drawing the facts or line by line items is straight from the budget, from Pleasant Grove's uh, budget. And so that's what we're going to touch base on tonight. And so this is, again, you might have seen these, you might have not. Maybe we're having Pleasant Grove 3 now, I'm not sure. But this is the information that you might have seen about uh, the challenges that Pleasant Grove has and the information. And we're going to kind of touch base on some of these things. Uh, tonight we're going to hit a little bit on uh, number one, and actually all three, but over the past 10 years, the cost of providing services rose 86, almost rounded up to 87%, even though Pleasant Grove's population only increased 12 percent. That's, that's coming from Blaine Thatcher, I think it says on the side, the account. And so we're going to go over those numbers and show you where we've gotten our numbers from. Okay. Before we get there, there's a video coming up that already addresses these, these numbers. And what's perplexing is sometimes he says 12%, sometimes he says 15%. We're not sure where he's getting those numbers from. And so I'll let the video speak for itself. Population, that doesn't sound near enough. Well, and when I came to work for the city, the population was 21,000. No, but, but if you look at the population numbers published in the audited financial statements of the city, in the last 10 years, we're somewhere in that 15% population growth range. You don't expect the city to grow within 10 years? Well, let me try and explain it again. <laughs> it's, a, I think, a fairly simple question. The cost of services has increased almost 87%. It's actually over 87%. What about revenues? Okay. I'm talking about the cost of providing services. You're saying if we cut a dollar of service, we're cutting services. But right. our our cost of providing services has increased so far beyond our population growth, so far beyond our the rate of inflation. Um, I, I'm failing to understand, and I can't see anybody giving me a justification for why the cost of providing these services in Pleasant Grove has to grow that much faster fire department. than inflation. Okay, just just to touch base on this was from our debate we had on September 23rd, uh, Wednesday. I remember that very well. So that's, that's how I remember it. Yeah, I was having fun with that. Um, so he touched base a little bit about uh, services increasing, but the population has it. And so we're going to flip to the next slide here and talk about it. Pleasant Grove 3 myth. Over the past 10 years, Pleasant Grove's population has only increased 12%. At the baby blanks at 15%. So again, we're not sure about his numbers. He's the accountant, and he can't agree on one of those numbers. What we've done is we went according to U.S. and Utah state governmental statistics over the last 10 years, Pleasant Grove's population has increased almost 30%. So we're talking a 15% difference here, ladies and gentlemen. And so that's why we're a little perplexed where he's getting his numbers and how he's presenting his numbers is it doesn't look good. It's easy to throw information out there and scare people. It's hard for us to come to you and actually try to present the, the fair information out of the books and try and convince you of what you've already heard. And that's what's scary what's going on in the community today. 